This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Central Oregon Living and Homestead. And uh, we're checking up on Sherry's project. And it looks like Sherry's got a new toy. It's a edger. It's an edger. Yeah. So edger and a trencher too, right? I'll do trencher. So uh, this thing uh, is kind of different. I never really had, I've never really used something like this. And uh, oh, we got a serious jet going over us. Anyway, so we're not gonna film the beginning of this just to see. We gotta get a feel for the machine. But then we'll take a look and see what it's capable of doing. Okay, so we're playing with this a little bit. So what it does is it cuts a nice edge. And if you're on concrete, it actually has something to help you do it off of concrete. But we're trying to edge along rocks. So we're using the trencher and not the yeah, edger. Yeah, so we're using the trencher and not the edger. And so what we'll do is uh, dig out the grass that goes towards the rocks. But this thing uh, actually runs really nicely. Uh, would you mind demonstrating it a little bit? One observation is when you're using this thing, if you're in a real dry area, when it hits rocks, it shoots sparks. Yep. So uh, just be cautious about wear that. Wear safety glasses. And wear safety glasses, which I know we're not right now. We're just testing the machine out. Not a good excuse, I know. But anyway, new tool. Edger and trencher. And so, uh, so far it's pretty slick. So before I uh, change subjects here, I want to remind you that I'll put a link in the description below where we got this from um, Amazon. Uh, it's very affordable. It's about uh, under a hundred dollars, and uh, it's a cool little tool. Since today I've been showing you a lot of things that are kind of my favorite stuff or some of our equipment, one of the other things I wanted to show, and I just got some more of them, is the solar lights that I've been putting around the property. I don't know how many times we end up shooting out here. We forget to put the chickens away or something, and as uh, we need some extra light, so I've been using these things. Uh, I just put four more on the property. Uh, around this pump house, I uh, were going by here a lot, so I put one almost on all sides uh, to uh, lighten up the uh, the property when we forget to turn out the regular, when we forget to turn on the lights, period. Put one in the back too, right up there. And you can get a four pack for around $27, I think it is. And once again, they're in Amazon. I'll put a link below for those. And uh, I like them. They're super bright. I got them on the chicken pin. I got them uh, on the back, the inside, uh, outside the door, and also off to the side that points towards the compost pile. And uh, for those nights that we just get out there and I don't have lights on. and Anyway, it just comes in handy. So once again, it's a product that we really like. So once again, just go down to our description. You'll see links to them. And uh, they're, uh, the lights are so worth it. Of course, one of the drawbacks from getting all these new things in is the boxes. <laughs> it seems like we're constantly getting boxes. And so it makes us go to the landfill a lot more. And that's the sad part. But uh, not everything is junk here. Also, I got some extra roofing from the new roof we had put on and some boards they left us. I told, asked, they asked me if I wanted the scraps to go, oh yeah. So, uh, anyway, yeah, the drawbacks for all these new toys, boxes. So, if you like boxes, go to Amazon. So we're doing a follow-up on Sherry's uh, amazing edging machine and <laughs> trencher. And uh, this is what she was able to do with it. She said it wasn't exactly easy. Well, the trenching was easy, getting the grass out was hard. Yeah. So the trenching is easy, but getting the grass is hard, but it looks amazing. Um, oh, you got pretty far. 
So, what was the hard part? Just pulling the grass out? Yeah. It's really thick and the roots are super, super deep. Yeah. But yeah, that looks like a million bucks. Still got a ways to go on all this, but man, she's really... This has been an amazing project she's working on, so... Um, just take a little bit at a time. Since we seem to be in the subject of products that we like, I, uh, I also wanted to uh, point out something we're doing for seeds now. Uh, we have hundreds of seeds on order and hundreds of seeds um, stored away in one of these crazy boxes we got. And uh, uh, it's kind of hard to keep them organized. So I watched a video just the other day of a uh, gal up in uh, northern Washington. can't remember the name of their channel but uh, she pointed out that she keeps her uh, seeds in boxes like this and these are amazing so I ordered some and I just got them in and uh, they're awesome so let me turn my camera a little bit so you can see but basically it looks like this each one of them have uh, one two three four five six seven eight uh, sixteen um, containers in each one and this way we can actually start putting all of our seeds um, and label them so we can keep track of them and keep them in a safe place. Uh, this was very affordable um, and I'll put a link below in the description of these containers and I am very impressed with them. Uh, they'll easily fit our packets in here. Uh, the ones that are large I can actually uh, <coughs> bag and take smaller to fit into these little containers and I just think it's a wonderful way to keep track of your seeds and protect them. That was some of the products that we uh, use around the homestead here and I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to us and uh, watch our video. Um, once again down in the description we have links to these products that we're using. We have actually a lot of other products coming in. We got a new wood chipper coming in and uh, we're actually ordering a lot of seeds and the other things coming up on the channel in the next day or two is preparing the new garden, the spring garden. Even though I know it's almost fall, we're uh, uh, actually getting ready to move a whole bunch of old pots, dump those out into the garden, and we're going to add, uh, we have to go pick up a whole bunch of uh, manure additive for our garden. And I'll probably throw a little bit of wood chips and stuff in it. And... Uh, mix it all up and then I'm going to cover it for the season and that's going to be quite a project. I'm kind of excited because I didn't get to do a garden since we just got up here in July. Um, so uh, anyway lots of work to do. We have so many projects going on that uh, yes we're, be <laughs> we're doing daily videos and uh, it's more of just the life and the lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> a lot of concerns going on, more news about uh, shortages on seeds, shortages on uh, jars, uh, canning jars, and uh, it's like getting crazy out there and, and you don't know what's real and what's not. So it's all I can say guys is keep your heads up, <laughs> look up too, <laughs> but uh, pay attention to what's going on and uh, uh, normal media is not uh, telling us a lot of things. So you have to go to some of your alternative news to find out some of these reports that they're just not talking about. And that makes me a little, it's, it's a little concerning. Uh, the most important thing I could just say right now, guys, is, is have a little extra food, a little extra water, and uh, uh, oh, just don't be caught off guard. Um, think ahead a little bit. Hey, when it comes to extra food and stuff like that, uh, yeah, everybody's got tight budgets and stuff, but you'll be glad that you did. And if you, nothing seems to be wrong later on, well, you just don't have to go to the grocery store for one week or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Thanks to you, we've been growing really well. And uh, please leave comments below. Please be professional. Love to hear from you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we will try to address them in future videos. We are looking at doing some live streaming as, uh, as soon as I got a, our studio set up. <clears throat> but anyway, 
we really have enjoyed the new people we've been meeting and uh, please uh, become part of our family and uh, subscribe today so guys have a great day bye now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks